Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 13 of Mega Man Zero Four, and we are going to take on the final Maverick of the entirety of the Zero series, ladies and gentlemen. But first, we have some things to do. We need to get this Beam Walker. We need to get this RB Cannon. RB Cannon, dude. And also, Nico's Crab B, and that'll give us Quick Charge 2. We're gonna have to repeat the process and add a Serpent Gear. And by doing so, we're gonna get ourselves Quick Charge 3. I mean, it's gonna suck that I'm not gonna be able to get the uh, Auto Healer until after we beat the second to last stage of the game. Or at least we go there. But unfortunately, we are literally out of uh, S crystals, and I'm gonna have to go and find a Fatel. But more importantly, I just realized I'm also out of Defensors as well, because I was going to get uh, Charge Level 1, but don't worry about that. That'll be before I beat the game, at least. For right now, I'm going to go on ahead and put on Quick Charge and show you exactly how cool Quick Charge really is. Because now that I have a level 3 Quick Charge... Oh, and by the way, speaking of how cool things are, I have Max Elf. Now my defense is doubled, and also, with the uh, Animal Elf maxed out, I can use Special Commands to easily activate my uh, EX skills. Not to mention the special skills that would have been given to me at the level 2 of the... Uh, Animal Elf. The plant-based elf, however, will just give me the um, double defense, which I'm definitely gonna need. And you wanna know how quick the charge is? Look at look look at that first. Now look at the tractor shot. And now look at the uh, burning shot. But we're gonna get ourselves one last Buster ability, um, provided that it actually works. I probably won't be able to use it, like, talking about it, but, um, well, not in the long run, but I will at least, um, show it off eventually. But, I went back and got a Fytel, and the, that's the only thing I need to do in order for me to get an S-Crystal. And I don't think we need another S-Crystal ever again. But we do need more Sertanium for the Absorber. I forgot to get some more. I'll just have to go and get it off screen. But for right now, go to this guy right here, and this will be the last sub tank of the game. Well, not in the series, but of the game. Because ZX actually has four sub tanks. I'm not sure about. Advent, because I never played Advent, ZX I have. So on that note, it's time for us to steal up our resolve and go after the final Maverick of the game, which is Papla Coca Petri. The guy who was talking all that smack and wanted to smoke back in part two. Well, guess what? All of his friends is dead. So now it's time for to make him dead as well. And what can I say about his stage? It's pretty much forgettable, just like he is. The only reason I'm doing this is because I'm getting the EX skill for him too. So, with that said, let's head over to the Living City. Which, by the way, thanks to Vile, became a living city. The security's acting on its own, and we gotta shut it down. And because of the fact we came in at the disadvantage of Zero, the city itself will become much more hazardous than before. Alright. If you haven't gotten any Carabus, this is the place to get them. Because that uh, prison is a one-and-done deal. And 
and look at how much, look at how awesome Zero's become. Look at the damage he's doing. And I think I forgot to change my uh, Spike type shield W, uh, Spike W, that's what I meant to say, to a regular weapon. No, not regular weapon. I meant to say the double jump. That's what I meant to say. It'll dawn on me eventually, and I'll end up doing that, but still. But there's not much to say about this stage. There are hazards, and thanks to Strong, they're a non-issue. Yeah, they're literally a non-issue. And more importantly... Ah! Damn it! Hold on, give me a second. I might have to jump off if I need to. And look at that. A non-issue. And thanks to Double Jump, this also is a non-issue. Now we've come to this part here, and this is where things get a little bit troublesome. Because, well, I end up running into... Oh no! Crushing blocks. Damn it. I'll be back. All of a sudden, I'm regretting not getting the Absorber. By the way, I do have something to mention, because I didn't actually mention throughout this game. I actually like the music of, uh, Zero Four. It doesn't beat Zero Three in the soundtrack department, but Zero Four's got some good tracks. And God for sake and phone, seriously, I turned you off for a reason. Anyway, um, this block, you gotta be careful. You just gotta hug the walls before it crushes you. Just trust me, it will. And now we've come to the mid-boss. Get out your zero knuckle, because that's basically the best way to beat it. Oh, and by the way, how you defeat this boss is all dependent on where you're going to go. So with that said... Let us get ready to take this thing down. If you want to try to go to the uh, lower half, make sure that this is the last area you get the keys from. Because wherever you get the key from last is where you're going to go. That's all that needs to be said. So if you're trying to try to go to the middle section, by all means do so. You want to go to the top, by all means get the keys from the top like I did. There are two sections to the stage. And, unfortunately, Pasky doesn't realize that he went the wrong way. Or is, um... Dealing with the stage that actually is in the lower half. Now this... Normally would be the more difficult area, but no, not really. There's nothing difficult about this. You just have the camisums blocking the way, and you also have, um, I forgot what those things were called, but whatever they are, you have those roto guns just trying to kill you. Other than that, there's nothing really harsh about that side of the stage. It'll just lead you to the second half of the bottom. Meanwhile, I'm just pretty much carving through everything that stands in my way. Now this one actually would look like a challenge, but it's not. You just gotta time your jumps and be careful, oh god, be careful. Thank god again for, um, double jump, and also, we're at the home stretch. So, you're gonna have to do the strong style. And by strong style, I mean actually taking a hit from the spikes. This is why I put on strong for a reason. Yeah, I'm going to take damage from spikes, but at least... Oh, God, you idiot. Wait, nope, nope, nope. I I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right. And there's a serotonin. I mean, serotonium right there. And not only that, we're at Poplar Coca Petri's, um, area. And by the way, I also went to get myself some... Oh, you idiot! Ah! As I was saying, I was trying to get myself some help, and I ended up falling into the spike pit. But that's okay. I went and stopped it to try to get the 10 minute mark. Well, beat the 10 minute mark anyway. So here we are. Yeah. Remember me? 
You were talking all that smack back in part two, and now all of your friends are dead. You're the only one left. And you are by far one of the most forgettable of the Inharyar. In fact, you have probably the worst ability in the game. Still ain't gonna stop you from using it on me, but that doesn't matter. Okay, actually there is something that may stop me, the fact that I'm a D rank, but still. You want it so bad to try to deal with me? Let's see what you got while you're over here talking all that smack about you controlling this city and not lifting a finger. Well, it's time to put this chicken down for good. I know it's a cockatrice, I don't care. And you thought I was kidding about the time stop thing. No, no I'm not. And let me change my weapon to the zero knuckle. I am, however, going to tell you that uh, Coca Petri will jump in the air and will launch his projectiles. And he'll just bounce around on the floor, and that's it. You can just avoid him if you want to, but he should not be any trouble. And this is why he's normally the first Maverick to take on. Now, what, if you're in an A or an S, he will stop time. Have his projectiles in midair, whether you're frozen in air or not, and wherever they land, that's where they're gonna land. Otherwise, this guy's not that tough at all. And with that, Coca Petri is down and out for the count! Oh yeah, look at you! Popping all that good shit back in part two, and now you got sliced in your chest! You eat a dick, Nugo! You eat a dick! Oh, and I also got Time Stopper as an EX skill. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the grunts. We've stopped Ragnarok, and more importantly, we saved Area Zero. Um, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me rephrase my ha myself. We haven't stopped Ragnarok yet. There's still one last person on the loose. And uh, we're going to have to deal with him. Well, actually, they'll make that two, because Dr. Wild's still on the loose. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have to deal with Dr. Wild's lackey, the craft, in the next part. Do you want to know why? Oh, you'll see. Let's just say it's not gonna end well, because he goes full Neo-Arcadian. Never go full Neo-Arcadian.